Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to explain the hack tool Win32 Auto KMS detection. This is a detection name of Microsoft Defender that corresponds to a KMS activator present in the system. Let me explain to you why does this detection appear, is it dangerous, and what should you do once you see this detection. First, let's get its origins sorted. Hack tool Auto KMS is self-explanatory. As I said, it is a detection of an KMS activator. Such apps are used massively to circumvent the Windows licensing and activate the system by assigning a leaked corporate key to the computer through a request to the key management server, shortly KMS. They are commonly promoted as Windows activators. These programs are obviously illegal for copyright reasons, so you can face legal actions for using one. Using them in companies create even higher risks, where a home user will pay you a relatively small fine the co will pay hundreds of thousands of dollars or even have responsible persons imprisoned. Though it is not the only risk of auto KMS and similar products. As such apps have a pretty simple principle of action, there are dozens of them from different developers. All of them obviously cannot monetize their job in a regular way, as they create a hacking utility that messes up with Windows license keys. Thus, they often go for a different monetization option and it is most likely illegal. The less reward you can get from using Auto KMS is obtrusive offers to donate to its developers. They are not illegal, but just a nine. Though a more common way to monetize KMS activators is to supply a bundle of other apps like Bonavi system cleaners, Verizon wireless apps, rogue browsers, and similar unwanted programs. The worst case scenario, which is unfortunately highly possible, is malware. Being spread on third-party websites means nothing can effectively control what exactly is spread. Some crooks offer to download a function in AutoKMS, but it will drag a whole pack of malware to your device. Others do not even bother themselves with searching for a working activator and give you a direct malware downloading link under the guise of downloading AutoKMS. So, to sum up, what do we have with Hacktool Institute AutoKMS detection? It says that you have a program with the functionality that breaks the law in the vast majority of countries and can also drag numerous malware into your system, or at least unwanted programs. So it is not the most difficult thing to have, to say the least. To have a clear understanding whether you have malware in the system or not, I recommend performing a scan with Gruden Soft Anti Malware. Green Soft Anti Malware is a lightweight yet highly effective program that can detect and remove even the most modern malware samples. To be sure that no malware or unwanted programs are present, run the full scan. It will check all the disks present in the system, even there are the most remote areas, so nothing will slip through. The scan may take up to 10 minutes, so be patient. Now, once the scan is over, click Clean Now to get rid of all of the detected items. In my case, it was not only an auto KMS, but also a rock browser and adware. The removal may take some time as well, especially when there are a lot of detections. Well, the system is clean now. Good luck and stay safe online.